Hello. In this activity, we are going over the difference amplifier. So always, let's start with a topology, and then let's do the analysis and perhaps some examples. So in terms of the circuit topology, what we are trying to do here is amplify a difference between two voltages. And then later, we're going to do a better circuit than this. But you can think of the difference amplifier as having a network similar to the inverting amplifier where you have in the feedback network A times R and R. So this is the first voltage. I'm going to call it voltage one. Again, this R and this R <coughs> are the same. So this will be the gain and in the non-inverting input, we have a voltage divider. It's R and A times R. A couple of things about this circuit. These resistors need to be matched, R and R and AR, AR, in order for the, for the circuit to work with a proper performance. And so, Let's do the analysis. So one, topology, two, analysis. Now we have a general strategy to do the analysis, which in involves applying nodal analysis at the non-inverting input and the inverting input. This is VP for positive, VM for negative. And then, once we test that we have negative feedback, and we have negative feedback in this case because we have a pathway from the output back to the negative input, we can equate the two, meaning the inverting input voltage is equal to the non-inverting input voltage. And with that, we are able to derive an expression of the output in terms of the input voltages. So my strategy is to apply kirchhoff carroll law to the most complex node. In this case, it is the inverting node, kirchhoff carroll law, sum of currents, to assume leaving the node is equal to zero. Again, I'm doing this at Vn. And so the current going through this resistor is going to be the difference in voltage Vn minus V input V V1 divided by R plus then we have the current going through the AR resistor from the different potential between the inverting input voltage and the output Vn minus V output over A times R and then we have the bias current entering the inverting <coughs> terminal of the operation amplifier, which when we are doing ideal analysis, it's zero, right? And so this is equal to zero. So that's step one. Step two, you do the same at the other. So you apply kirchhoff current law, you analyze the other node now, in this case, we don't have to do it because we see clearly that this is a voltage divider since the operation amplifier does not draw any current under the ideal conditions. So we could say, well, V2 is equal to AR over AR plus R times V2. But in general, if it was more complex, you just would apply another analysis or Again, effectively, kirchhoff carroll law at this node. If you do it, you are going to see that you come up with this expression. V2, there is a, it's not V2. This is BP, the voltage at the inverting input. Or if we simplify, what we have is that a, 1 plus A times V2. Okay. 
Step number three. Vn is equal to Vp, which is equal to 1 over 1 plus A times V2, and we can plug this in to this equation for Vn and Vn, and so we're going to get an expression in terms of the output voltage, voltage 1, and then voltage 2. For now, it is just algebra. I'll do it. <clears throat> so we have that this is A over 1 plus A times R times V2 minus V1 over R plus A over 1 plus A AR V2 minus V out over A times R equals to zero. We can see that we have an R here, R here, R here, R here. If we multiply both sides of the equation times R, all those R's are going to cancel. And so we can simplify this. Um, and we get a 1 plus a I'm going to already factor out the v2s plus a 1 plus a v2 minus v1 equals v output over a with a plus where it goes to the other side of the equation and so this effectively can we get an output equals to a times v2 minus v1 notice that this is going to cancel out and this is equal to a plus 1 over 1 plus a. <clears throat> so we got the expression of the output, and what we see is that the output is an amplified version of the difference of V2 minus V1. So we have a difference amplifier, or amplifier that is going to, you have two signals, is going to amplify the difference. Now, a couple of things. The signs of V1 and V2 in the expression depend on what input each signal is applied to, whether you apply it to the positive or the negative. So you want it, uh, v, V1 minus V2, you just will make sure that you, you change the, the node at which you apply it. It's also very important, this circuit requires very good resistor matching to achieve, to achieve a good common mode rejection ratio. And you should see that the differential input impedance depends on R, okay? Meaning the RID is 2R. Now we're going to see how we can improve the common mode rejection ratio and how to create a better circuit to amplify the difference between two inputs. This happens in the front end of many sensing applications. You have a transducer or two transducers <clears throat> and you want to amplify the difference between those and reject the common signal. For that, the instrumentation amplifiers are a very good choice. Thank you.